Hello and welcome Coitech Bird, your ultimate destination for mastering language tests. I am Muhammad Sahar Said, your trainer in this exciting journey. Are you really aiming to join the ranks of prestigious essay writers at Writing Creek? If yes, then you have come to the right place. At iTech Bird, we have got your back. You know, in every Writing Creek language test, you face a different set of multiple choice questions. It can be quite a challenge, right? But don't worry, we are here to make sure you are fully prepared for every twist and turn. And each of our upcoming videos, we are going to provide you with the latest, most accurate answer to these questions. I will keep uploading videos comprising new MCQs with answers so you can get a whole set of answers to pass your test with 100% accuracy. After watching, all our videos uploaded on different occasions. You will be armed with all the knowledge you need to breeze with through the writing Greek language test with confidence. So hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and join us on this journey to success. Together, we will unlock your full potential and conquer the world of essay writing at writing Greek. Let's get started. In today's test, the very first question is, she heard the phone ringing and went to the first floor to answer it. In this question, option C is the most accurate option. Let's move, let's move to the question number two. Sisters-in-law's dresses at the wedding were blue. Option number one, option A is the most accurate option for question number two. Let's move to question number three. That's definitely the worst date in my life. I have been waiting for her for three hours here in the rain, but she is still offline and doesn't respond to my messages. In this question, option C is the most appropriate choice. Let's move to the next question. Nick is such a cheapskate. She didn't want to pay an electrician and try to fix his washing machine by himself. For question number four, we have got this one the right choice. Cheap skate. Just have a look here once again. Option B is the correct choice here. Okay, let's move to question number five. What did you do with the dress you borrowed from me? This word borrowed is the most accurate option for this blank choice. Is that clear? Option A is the correct choice here. Let's move to the next question. I think I will remember if you show me her photo. Okay, just have a look here once again. This is first conditional sentence. And you know, in, conditional, in first conditional sentence, in can, conditional class, uh, we always make the use of simple present or you can say present indefinite. And uh, rest, and in the rest part of sentence, we'll make the use of future indefinite. In other words, you can simply say, in conditional clause, this one is a conditional clause. In conditional clause, we always make the use of first form or present indefinite tense. And in the remaining part of sentence, we make the use of future indefinite. Is that clear? Okay, let's move to the next question. We have very little money, so we can't afford to buy a new car. In question number seven, this word little is the most appropriate choice. Is that clear? Let's move to the next question. She has already worked in this shabby little office for five years. This one, Option C is the most accurate option here for question number eight. Is that clear? Let's move to question number nine. The light in Scott's room is on. He must be playing computer games. Option D is the correct choice here for question number nine. This one is the most accurate choice here. Let's move to question number 10. 
I am so busy and don't have time to watch movies these days. I wish I had time to watch, watch lots of movies. This word had is the most accurate option for this blank space. Option D is the correct choice. Let's move to question number 11. She was very grateful to her friend for all the help with the arrangement of the party. Preposition 2 will be used here in this sentence. So, option B is the correct choice here. Let's move to question number 12. Choose the correct plural forms of nouns, tooth, tooth, hypothesis, and memorandum. Let's try to find out. In the given four options, option D is the most accurate, accurate choice. Teeth, hypothesis, and memoranda. Is that clear? Let's move to the next question. Mark had better not be late for that important meeting. Option B is the most appropriate choice here for this blank space. Is that clear? So come to the next question. Choose a sentence with the correct punctuation. Olivia said, I can't stand such ignorant people like you. First one, option A is the correct choice here. In direct speech, uh, we always make the use of reporting speech, reporting comma and reported, in, re, inverting comma and inverted commas. In simple sentence, we always use full stop as a punctuation mark in between inverted commas. So option A is the most appropriate choice here. Come to the next question. Research shows the less you care about getting a good job, the better you do in school. This one is the most accurate choice here for this blank space. So in question number 15, option C is the correct option. Come to the next question. Getting my laptop fixed will cost me a white elephant as the screen is completely crashed. This one is the most suitable choice here. Option B is the correct option. Is that clear? Let's move to question number 17. I saw Jerry and Kev, Kev today. Speaking of Jerry, do you know that he is going to Australia on business trip next week? This one would be the most appropriate choice here in this blank space. So option D is the correct option. Let's move to question number 18. You are making progress in drawing. Please keep on doing your best. Option A is the correct choice here. Let's move to question number 19. My brother did not allow me to play his PlayStation. I was trying to discuss that with him, but he refused to listen to me. In these two blank spaces, we have to make the use of infinitives. So option A is the correct option. Just have a look once again. In this question, option A is the most suitable choice. To play will be used in this space and to listen will be used right here. Okay, come to the next one. Sam hasn't been able to play football since he broke his leg. This word broke will be used here in this blank space. So option A is the correct choice. Let's move to question number 22. Sorry, 21. 21 is missing here. Okay, actually this is question number 21. Choose a line with only non-continuous or stative verbs. Option D is the correct choice here for question number 21. Doubt, fly, appear. All of these verbs are non-continuous or stative verbs. Let's move to question number 22. Yesterday I watched a documentary about the Milky Way galaxy and learned many interesting facts. The Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy will be capitalized here. Okay. So option C is the most accurate option. 
let's move to second last question i feel like eating because i am hungry for question number 23 this word like is the most accurate and suitable option let's come to the last question not only did they break the law but they also put themselves and others in unnecessary danger in this question option a is a correct choice that was today's test i hope you might have understood it quite comfortably and quite easily try to watch it repeatedly so you get all of your ideas cleared wish you all the best